recently had a pleasant visit in Starbucks Roastery Reserve, and appropriately so, since Seattle was the heart where Starbucks was first founded precisely in 1971, March 30th, at the Pike Place Market. Starbucks Reserve, or commonly known as Starbucks Roastery, was founded in December of 2014 in Capitol Hill of Seattle. It's located around nine blocks from the original Starbucks Pike Place store. And according to the executives of Starbucks, the Seattle Roastery was, quote, immersive and dramatic expression of our passion for coffee. As soon as you enter the building, you will not only notice the gorgeous architecture which blends the style of modern and classical nostalgic fashion vibe into it, this place also immediately brings you into more warmth of both the smell and taste of the coffee. The inside of the store also brings out the most mind-blowing atmosphere of how the coffee operates within this particular branch. It's the place where it both comforts the customers, but also very technical. They have at least four different sections of bars. The main bars consist of hoppers and balustrade. It gives a place for the relaxation, whilst to have a unique experience as to how coffees are instantly served it to you freshly, which we'll get into that in a bit. In addition to the standard bar, they also have one of my personal preference within the bar, and that is a scooping bar, which you get to see which types of blends of the coffee right in the spot. And occasionally, baristas would allow customers to try small samples of them, which is something that I appreciate for personally seeing that how you can consider your coffee choices more carefully after trying through the, um, the smallest sample. And if that's a bit too much of a work, you can simply get the packaged beans from the hand-picked at the roastery section, where you can get some of the souvenirs, gifts, and coffee beans for your liking and simply to go. But I bet that it won't be easy to simply just pick and go once you enter the store. Continuing with the tour, you also have a mixology bar in which you get to have a deep dive learning into the insight of how coffee mixologies come to life. Especially within the very elegant and noticeable cold brew system that they are offering with. While the wide range of coffee does indeed come as a main attraction, but if you feel for something for your stomach to be fulfilled, there's also a signature freshly baked goods from Princey Bakery. This on its own also have its history, where the legacy of bakeries came all the way down from Rocco Princey, who has grown a reputation for top quality breads, pastries, pizzas, and desserts. And lucky for any visitors to the store, Seattle Roastery is one of few places to try some of these baked goods from Princey Bakery, where you could enjoy with the coffee. The remaining bars also consist with experience bar for yet another spot for casual chilling area and relaxation, as well as coffee library in which you can set up the impromptu business meeting, as well as to have a view of the roasting operation. Which brings to my all-time favorite part of the entire store, and that is how roasting area works. All customers are welcomed to see these operations in person, to see how beans are taken care of initially, through the process of how the beans are then stirred up in the large roasters, as well as to see them through these mechanical pipes, which leads them through each bars like hoppers, for example, in which you can see the pipes are connected through all the way from the roasting operations for baristas to serve the finest coffee. They instantly ready to go with their own freshly roasted coffee beans. And the whole process of how beans are going through the phase of freshly stirred gently through seeing them suck them in and going through all these pipes to the bars and to the counters traveling through the entire store is just a magnificent sight to take a peek of. Not to mention, it is also a sign in which Starbucks tries to serve the finest and freshest coffee beans to offer. 
And that seems like the entire motto for the store. Seeing that giant copper cast alone, you can tell that people would definitely have a unique yet pleasant experience. And the fact that freshly stirred coffee beans are just ready for you. And I bet for a fact that for those coffee enthusiasts, they probably can't wait those warm coffee to be served. If you ever visit Seattle, Starbucks Reserve is a must visit place. And why not use that good opportunity to enjoy those coffees after all? This was Kevin H. W. Son, signing off.